So today, we are talking about what? Jesus, etc. Part 2. So... Uh, Jesus. Etc. Part 2. Hmm. I felt like this was one of the best episodes of Degrassi I've ever seen. It's like up there for me. Definitely so far the best episode I've seen of season 10. What is there to say? I, by the way, I was in California during the premiere of this episode, and I made my friend and I take a bus to a Starbucks so that I could get internet connection to watch Jesus Etc. Part 2. It was worth it. Let's That's just say dedication. that. That's dedication. But it was worth the wait. Definitely worth the wait. Oh my gosh. But it was scary. I didn't think I was going to be able to watch it. I went on to Teen Nick, and it was just like loading and everyone's like it doesn't work and i was like yes it does i took a bus it works <laughs> these were like the best music selections of an episode ever the crooked smile when it said you're crooked it's like oh okay somebody wrote a song about Monroe chambers it's okay and aislin what crooked smiles and blue eyes mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure the writers were like yes. check it there was just so much that was not at the school and like all the scenes like where like you know they're in the car and you, like, you driving see all around the toronto i was like this is mm-hmm this yeah. is good so let's talk plots. We've got Ali Bandari finally disappeared. Her bed was not slept in. I was definitely scared when the police officer showed Ali on the camera. I was like, ooh, that's kind of frightening. Yeah. It was so 48 hours. I was like, ooh, oh, Ali. She gets back together with that. I'm not talking about Johnny DeMarco. She like hooks up with, not hooks up. She meets with that skeezy guy. I don't know, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Holly J. In this episode, even though she had like one line, it, it was, was so, phenomenal. It was so good. She, I oh, have two, no. Three, we have guests. But she is the most natural actress on that show. She's actually a very good actress. That's my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Take my popcorn. What? It is really good popcorn. Isn't it? I don't know what it is. I'm so excited for the return of Johnny DeMarco. I love him. The He's haircut? So, the haircut. is brilliant. It looks so good. They were like, mullet gone. You're wearing Freaking tight awesome clothing. Thing. It's it's great. So, hooray. He's back, and I need one right now. Obviously, Eli goes without saying, but I need another two. one. First of all, it's a quarter after one. We are really, really, really enjoying Jenna and KC pregnant banter. I love it now. They're the light savior of the show right now. <laughs> Straight up street meat. It's just hilarious. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. I like pregnant Jenna. Oh, she was really funny. My choice. <laughs> Kudos. To the Smurl and to the Jessica Tyler. Because you guys are really funny and I'm enjoying it so much. And then we have... <laughs> and then, then, then we have the episode. This is tough to put into words. Let's start at the beginning. In the last episode, Fitz is trying to talk to Eli and Claire. And Claire finally forgives Fitz. For whatever reason. Because he's found God. I was okay with the forgiveness last week. Now I'm not. Now I'm like, no. Fitz is crazy. The song they play when she's reading the emails, oh, yeah, so okay. scary. I was freaking out. He's like, my feelings for you, Claire. Like, are you kidding me? He goes to see him. I was like, Claire, you're too nice. Don't, Don't even go humor ignore him. him. You're not friends. He was no. right. You're not. And then he shows up at her house. And, and that's when I go, door closed. His hair was just looking... It looked like gel and sadness. It was just, it's like, it's like chunky and wet. I, I was just riding my bike and it broke down in front of your house. <laughs> yeah. and, and I, I got bruised belly because of my bike. She welcomes him into her home, gives him snacks, and he, and he puts his feet up. And she doesn't take it off. When she goes to kick him out of the house, she turns off the TV. Does not take his foot off of the freaking coffee table. I was like, are you kidding me? On the third day, God said, don't put your feet on the coffee table, Fitz. Can we talk about the first eclair scene? And he's brooding and like reading the story. And she's like, oh no, I wrecked your horror story. And then all of a sudden, it is great. Eli, I think you're bipolar. Your faces in this episode, your reactions are just so hot and cold. Yeah. And then he's like hugging Claire. Bell rings. He looked angry at the clock. He's like, I have to stop hugging her now. Like, I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, we were just watching it and Eli shows up at the house. <laughs> he was like, oh, hey, Claire, I came with this button-down shirt. It's a lowly button just for you. It was like, literally, the camera cuts off here and it was like, button-down. <laughs> yes. He was being sultry Eli for Claire. He comes to the door and he's like, I have a button-down and it is low. Like, it could have been a good time. And it could have been. Look what happened. And I'm sorry, Claire, um... 
When I heard Eli knock on the door, I would have just shoved Fitz out the front door. Stop trying to protect everyone. Do something for yourself for once. He's like, call Father Greg. Call, call, and Father I need Greg. to figure out how to clean up this mess. I'm like, no. I was like, yo, kick him out. Get out. The sun is shining. Mm -hmm. Ride your bike home. It's a beautiful day. Go out there and face the world. I don't know whether to thank Father Greg or to like hate him for turning Fitz into this crazy Jesus Claire obsessed person. I feel like Father Greg was like, oh, this kid. He didn't like, mean oh, this. Ah, oh, this kid again. <laughs> oh, it's, Hi, it's, Cheryl. It's Mark. She's Cheryl. Then Claire walks out and Eli's just sitting at his steering wheel like this. He's so sad. So upset. He's so sad. He's disheveled. So many tears. Rest of the episode, he's hoarse. Like, his voice is hoarse, and I actually think, like, all this dramatic stuff probably hurt his voice. He was so good in this episode. Monroe Chambers, you have outdone yourself again. This is not Monroe biased, people. Like, no, he's just, he's His so acting good is right actually now. incredible. It just is. And, um, he's a pretty crier. He yeah. looks like a freaking angel when he cries. Last night, I was watching The Notebook, and I made a comment about how Rachel McAdams is, like, the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life, and how she can pull off the pretty cry. And we were just watching the episode, and Monroe's in the car crying, and I was like, oh my, oh my god, he can pull off the pretty cry. He's such a pretty cry. There are some people, they're just such angels, that when they cry, it's beautiful, and he cried, it was beautiful. Angelic. Mm -hmm. And you, we just look at his face, and we're like, you can slit my throat. It's fine. Come to my breast. <laughs> 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 Come here, sad Eli, sad. And like, he was just like, I'm just gonna cry like an angel in your arms. And I was like, okay. That's totally okay. Fun fact, I found out that the guy who plays the Bendari dad is good at ping pong. <laughs> I want to see some action. Like, I, I want to see like a video tweeted of that. I think if I were on Degrassi, I'd be at the set all the time. I'd show though. up every day. Like, I'd be like, hey, what's up, guys? I'd be like, good morning. <laughs> Perfect. Like, ugh, oh, Alex is here again. Hello, they're I'd here. I'd be like, aren't you not called today? <laughs> do, you even, do you even go to this school? Alex, wait, you, bro! <laughs> Taylor's mom, everyone. Yeah. That's not what she sounds like at all. No. She's just being crazy because you guys are here. <laughs> yeah, they're here. <laughs> they're here. In Taylor's dining room. With the deer mirror. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom has Beautiful lovely decor. tasting mirrors. <laughs> yep. So things kind of like, after the, I'm losing you, and she was like, no, you're not. And it was all, it was good. At least, I, I mean, like, he was crazy, but I was like, okay. But the embrace was nice. It was, it was a good way to end that scene. Yeah. Like, I hope Eli knows what's going on now. Yeah. I think he does. He's just I'm pretty sure. Disheveled. It was just a lot for him to More take lies. In. And then going plot back line, to plot the line. core. Back to the back to the core of this right now. Um, so they're at school. And he's like, "I've got something for you." She's like, "Stalker Angel," and I'm like, and "Oh, like, of course, oh. that's the title." Hey, did anybody notice that Claire still has fan fiction in her email inbox? <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't notice that. Yeah, she I still has fan fiction in her email inbox. I was like, Claire, I thought you gave Madame it up. Madame Degrassi. Exactly. Ooh. You have to talk about this just for a second. So Degrassi used to not be all parts one and two of every single episode. Yeah, seriously. They used to have some, like, single-standing, light-hearted episodes, and we really need some of those back. Yeah, like the Pringles can, and Liberty Buys the Ugly Boots and stuff. I miss those. You're just in too deep. I, 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 like, I really am. I'm like, <gasps> I'm like, like, help me. I can't even. It's too um, much for me to handle. So please, give us back some lighthearted episodes. Yeah. I feel like we just need to find a healthy balance. I Next week, Spencer has a plot. I'm very excited about this. Might be the episode where there's an homage to his broken arms. In the oh, Bowling maybe, Point episode, maybe. he has two casts. Steven Stone said that there's an episode coming up where there's an homage to his broken arms, and we're gonna okay. find out. I'm like drowning in Eli Doom, and I'm like, help me right now. Like, I'm like, I can't get up. My it's limbs just, are stuck. Exactly. It's too much right now. I'm in too deep. If you guys um, have watched the Teen Nick and Much Music pro promo for next week, like, are we watching the same show in the States and Canada? Because I don't think we are. Teen Nick makes the episode look, like, dramatic because- Something's wrong with Hallie Yeah, we're not on much music. It's like, Spencer, and they're digging up a time capsule. You know, stuff is going on. And, like, Miss O is there doing something and her hair is long. Like, it's like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> So we have no idea what's actually going to happen next no. week's episode. I'm very curious to find out what's wrong with Holly J. I don't think it's going to be too extreme. No, I don't think so either. I mean, yeah, like, we know she's going to be in season 11. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. We'll see. Back to Jesus, etc. Yeah, the final scene. We've got Stalker Angel. Yep. They gave Monroe a cheesy line. He's like, the rain and the thunder. Just got me thinking about yeah. the ending. And we're oh, like, I mean, he delivered it well, head. but it was still like, I was like, good, it's just good one of those. Try. Hey, it's just really good. 
She, she, just, she just really wants to be in the vlog. Oh my god, mom, if you want to be in the vlog, make you a comment. You can be in the vlog. Did we ever tell them that she, she thought Spinner's name was Skinner for like the longest time? <laughs> Taylor's mom hates Jane. And one day she goes, you mean, oh, is that Skinner on TV? I was like, Skinner? Yeah, you know, Skinner, that guy on the grand he plays the drums. I was like, wait, do you mean Spinner? She's like, oh, I thought it was Skinner this whole time. I'm like, the rain and the thunder. I mean, the rain. <laughs> <laughs> the, the rain and the thunder. Just got me thinking about that ending. Like the sun. Um, <laughs> so many great lines. Exactly. So then Eli proceeds to explain that <laughs> in the story, the hero kills his girlfriend because he can't like, protect her from the villain. Oh. And Claire's like, oh, oh my god. Oh. My it's life. you, Claire. And we both concur that Aislinn Paul had the best line of the episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? She just delivered it so. It was well. so good because she was like, there was like a face, and then it was like, try not to kill me, okay? And I was like, oh my god, I know. He's like, don't I owe you a driving lesson? He mentions the hearse and that he's gonna be with her every step of the way, and she's like, that's um, the problem. That's that's the issue. I'm gonna yeah. die, maybe. I don't think Eli's actually ever mm. going to hurt no. her. No, the last like. Few seconds, he has his arm around her, and they're walking out, and her face is like, like I love Claire Edwards, and she's like, ah. this awkward face. Then he puts his arm around her, and then it turns to terror, and then his face is like, gonna kill Claire. Can we talk about how in this episode they never said I love you directly to each other, no. but they said it about each other about a thousand times. I love Eli. Eli loves me. Eli doesn't love anyone. I love Claire Edwards. But there was never, I love you, Eli. I love you, Claire. No, no that never happened. That never That's happened. That's too normal. It was such a good episode. If you've watched it once, good for you. If you watch it twice, really, you just have to keep watching it. Just watch the faces. The faces in this episode were so good. Like, crazy, to disturb, to just, like, it everything. It was an emotional marathon. Mm -hmm. I could only imagine them being in, like, scene work and the director being like, okay, you have to be super happy, and then you're mad, and that, like exactly. it's just bizarre. Like I have to give this episode an A plus 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 plus. It's off the charts for me. One, I, really, I feel like I'm, I'm like, probably going to be saying for the next couple of weeks, best episode of Degrassi ever. Yeah, this is up there with like old school, my favorite old school Degrassi stuff, and that's tough to like rank that high now. I don't think we've ever seen such like continuous progression of storylines. Mm -hmm and growth of characters and I tweeted Steven Stone and I was like so can the show be considered a teen soap opera now because it kind of is it, oh so much and he was like it can if you believe it can and I believe it can exactly. so it is the development is so much better incredible in the old episodes a lot of times because there were so many characters and because you would jump around you wouldn't have all these parts so you couldn't include so many people in an episode there's a really nice progression that goes on now with them and, then, and it's easier to believe this episode was very balanced like when i saw the promo at first i was like this episode is gonna have 26 plots a to z <laughs> but there were three plots and they were all based on we had bendaris we had Kenna, and we had Eclair, and it was very, like, boom, boom, boom. The music was amazing. It was just brilliant. It was yeah. just brilliant. Just a, a well-put-together episode. My body was tingling. It's there were definitely like, audible amazing. gasps at Starbucks. I was going, <gasps> and I'd just be like, <gasps> yeah. But, but it just, wow. Speechless. Lost for words. I miss Jordy. I wish she was in this week's episode. Yeah, maybe just that's for, like, what a it minute. Is. I love her, so. She's just so good. Yeah. I'm not biased. I'm, like, she's really she's good. She's really good. She'll be back soon, so. Yeah. No biggie. That's what I do after all the episodes, huh? You know what I appreciate about this whole insanity plotline? With Rick, he was crazy, but it was kind of like quintessential, like, crazy. With this plotline, it's like, I am actually mentally ill. Mm. Oh, and he, oh, he called Claire my lady. Oh, that's a Rick thing. Oh. Makes me go ill. But I don't think he's going to be abusive. I just no, think he's going to be so mentally either. draining. If you have anything to say. I know you guys have a lot I to mean, say about this one. You, you feel free, because we're just, I, I need to hear things. I wonder if we're going to see James Campbell again. Is he coming back? For, have we, we don't know. Hmm. I asked him one day, but he didn't answer me. If they left it right now, he'd basically be Degrassi Bermuda Triangles. All hail Emma Nelson? Exactly. Sorry, I'm really rude. <laughs> <laughs> just good popcorn. Jesus. Etc. Part two. That kid was Shirley Temple. He really was. 22 minutes on a Friday night, Cheryl. Alright. Is it over?
Did you stop it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. I have a lot of editing to do. Mm -hmm.